joined now by Congressman Mike Rogers. He is chairman of the House Intelligence Committee. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you for joining us. I, I do want to talk to you about Edward Snowden and his options. But first, I want to pick up on some things uh, that I talked about earlier with Christian Amanpour and Fareed Zakaria. And one of the uh, things both of them said was, this is a really good time for the U.S. to exert uh, some of its influence. And by influence, I think sometimes we think the money that we give them. Do you think that the U.S. should stop playing games and call a coup a coup? Or do you think the U.S. should continue uh, giving aid to the Egyptian military and uh, Egypt in general? Well, I, I think the irony of us not following the law after the, uh, the Egyptian crisis would be uh, too much to handle. I do believe the law is very clear on this. So what I think the president needs to do, and I do think that the, the, the Egyptian military is the one stable factor there. They were great and did not overreact during the Mubarak overthrow. Uh, and in this particular case, I think they were reacting to the calls uh, of the secularists and more liberal factions and moderate factions in Egypt. So they should, I think, uh, continue to be rewarded for that type of activity. And it is the one cultural structure stabilizing force in Egypt right now. However, I, I, again, I think the president needs to come to Congress. I, I would not try to circumvent the law by call, calling this something it is not. Uh, clearly, the Muslim Brotherhood was using the uh, instruments of, of democracy to try to Islamicize, and, uh, and some would call it there, equanicize, which means right. the Brotherhood you know, per, you know, going through uh, all of the agencies of the government and trying to take over. So, I, I, again, a lot going on. I think we should do this the legal way. I think Congress should, uh, excuse me, the president should come back to Congress and then and ask we for can an go exception the to the law. Process of getting them. So, you, you, you I, think I we should still give them money to Egypt? To money. Right. So, you think we should continue think, to give money to Egypt, but now think that's against to... the law? I think the law is very clear on this, and I think we ought to be honest with ourselves. And I don't think that skirting the law here is the right thing to do. The president should come to Congress and make the case. I think there's a great case to be made here, Candy, that we should continue to support the military, the one stabilizing force in Egypt that I think can temper down the political feuding that you're seeing going on now uh, and then help a, a process that will allow for multiple factions of parties and beliefs to participate. The, the rush the last time I think got us the Muslim Brotherhood who as I said has used democracy to uh, undo freedoms in, in Egypt and that's why we are where we are today. Well, I think that, that there's a better way to do this if we have a longer period to allow these parties to get established, an interim government, a march toward true democracy. I think we can play that role. But again, I think the president needs to come to Congress to make the case because I do believe the law is very clear on this. What's the danger here? Because already we, we are seeing uh, some action by al-Qaeda operatives or what are thought to be al-Qaeda operatives uh, along uh, the border, uh, which have been quiet for a while. It's not immediately clear that it's connected to what's going on in Egypt. But what are you most worried about when you look at the totality of what you know as chairman of the Intelligence Committee? Well, you know, the Sinai has been giving us all trouble. It, the Egyptian LCC, is, as a matter of fact, has been very good, the defense minister, about allowing uh, operations in the Sinai to try to curb uh, jihadist activity there, which is destabilizing the region, certainly to Israel. One concern is that their focus is away from that, and that would allow the Sinai to continue to be destabilized and allow al-Qaeda and others to continue causing trouble there. Right. The second part of this is, during the Morrissey government, we've had a tremendous amount of Egyptians show up in Is uh, excuse me, Syria for the fight there. And so one of the things that was concerning is they're going to get trained, they're going to have combat-tested uh, people who are going to want to eventually come back to Egypt, and that would prove to be a very destabilizing effort as well. So you've got multiple layers of security threat here that the, the military is going to have to deal with. And I argue the United States needs to step up today and play a more leadership role in at least lining up what a democracy really looks like and not allowing the Muslim Brotherhood to take away freedoms in the name of democracy.